principle. Everyone should be allowed to defend themselves. From what? You know, the, the aggressors. Ag aggressors? <laughs> this is the safest camp has ever been. Sounds like something an aggressor would say. Uh -huh. If Marsh had a spear, that elk would have never pushed him off that cliff. It was an accidental nudge. It was a shove full of malice. Come on, everyone. Exercise your fundamental human right and grab a hand spear. <laughs> yes. Uh, no thanks. Jane, trust me. Once you get your hands on one of these and you feel that power. Minerva, I know all about power. After personally bringing Marsh back from the edge of certain death. Not again. Oh, yeah, come on. Uh, I gotta be honest, guys. I, <laughs> I'm a little baffled here. I snatched Marsh from the jaws of death and no one is remotely impressed. The only thing anyone cares about is a sharp little spear. <laughs> How is holding that stupid thing more important than saving someone's life? <clears throat> Are you choking? I, Do you need air? No, no. Oh, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, I, I just, I have something to show you. Uh, don't scare me like that. I was this close to saving your life. This whole Jane and Gary thing. I just don't get it. What don't you get? How do I put this? Hmm. Jane is stunning and Gary is... Physically repulsive. Pretty crazy they're only sleeping with each other, huh? Wait, like exclusively? Yeah, it's just something stupid they're trying. So Gary isn't available for sex stuff. Ah! <sighs> Is the surprise hurting myself? What? Uh, Gary, this is unbelievable. Mm, so you're happy. Of of course, they look just like my favorite flowers from the field. They are your favorite flowers from the field. What? I cut them down. Cut them down? I carried them here. Uh, uh how will they stay alive? Well, they, they won't. Uh, you'll just get to watch them die slowly over the next few days. Oh. It does look great in here right now, though. <laughs> What did you say to me? I didn't say anything. That's what I thought. See, when you have a weapon, everyone looks like a threat. Or is nothing a threat when everyone has a weapon? Your wordplay doesn't change the fact that Marsh and Beth almost killed each other. But they didn't. This is the safest camp has ever been. Are you seeing this? The moment we shifted the paradigm, they started hunting themselves. <laughs> oh! Yeah, I guess. But they'll get hungry soon. And we definitely can't hide forever. What if we didn't have to? What if we relocated to a new permanent habitat? So you're saying we should move? Judy, damn it. Yes. Okay, just say that then. Wait, she didn't like the flowers? No, she thought the flowers were terrific, which is why she was extra sad when I killed them all. Well, I guess when you think about it, dead flowers are a pretty terrible gift. What else does Jane like? I don't know. What, staying on a tight, productive schedule? Making stupid suggestions only hurts you. Okay, fine. I mean, she likes a good fire? Who doesn't? But a good fire ain't gonna keep Jane happy. What about a whole bunch of good fires? That is a gorgeous idea. Uh, this is a tough one. It could be a rock and a bug. Hey, I got a surprise for you. Oh, you murder something else I care about? <laughs> Again, so sorry. But they will grow back by next year. It takes a year? Look, I promise, this will make up for it. Let me ask you something. Do you fellows find Gary attractive? Not really. You? I never have. But now that he's only sleeping with Jane, I find myself feeling... Differently. So you're not attracted to Gary, but you just want to sleep with him because you can't? I don't want to. I need to. Huh. I guess Gary isn't bad looking. I'd say he's ugly hot. Gary, it's beautiful. I know a good fire makes you happy. So I figured, you know, what about a lot of good fires? Hey, Jane. Uh... Just wanted to come by and... Uh, finally! Someone around here is thanking me for saving a life. It took long enough. Actually, I'm here because I heard you're looking to unload some dead flowers. <coughs> wow! 
Pretty smoky in here. Must be a dozen fires going. There's seven fires, Marsh. Seven. One for every week that Jan and I have been together, which is both thoughtful and... safe. No, no, not again. We need to get air inside him. Come on. He's fine. He's not breathing. Maybe he's breathing very slowly. Don't worry, Marsh. I know exactly what to do. Wait, wait. I'll find someone else to do it. Gary, there's no time. Come on, there's plenty of time. <sighs> Ooh. Mm. Mm. Ugh. <laughs> It's not working. His shirt is too tight. We gotta cut it off. Tony, don't touch his shirt. His shirt is fine. He's gonna die. He's not gonna die. Ugh, I hate those things. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> I'm <coughs> alive. Great. So happy for you. I guess I should finally thank you, Jane. Jane? When you get your hand on one of these things and feel that power, the ultimate life-saving tool. So she didn't like the fires? Of course she liked the fires. It was magical. Until Marsh's delicate lungs ruined everything. <laughs> oh, man, I can't breathe. Who almost dies twice in one day? Maybe keeping her happy isn't about romance or ambiance. Maybe it's about the sex. The sex is great, Trog. We even do it on flowers. Yeah, I get it. But no matter how great something is, humans will always get tired of it. Which is why everyone agrees we're not meant to be monogamous. So what? I'm supposed to wait until she gets bored and sleeps with someone else? Yeah, pretty much. Or when you have sex tonight, you could just pretend to be somebody else. Oh, I get it. Like being a gatherer. Did you say ga No, I, not like a gatherer. Oh, Man, on. what's less sexy than a gatherer? I don't know. It's not like there's a ton of other role-playing options. Just be something that's not you. Something that screams, you want this. I don't scream, you want this. At best, you whisper it. What up, James? <gasps> Whoa! Don't ever sneak up on me like that again. Okay, I thought you hated these things. I did, till I got my hands on one. Yeah, I thought you said they were stupid and dangerous. <laughs> yeah, when you give them to stupid and dangerous people. But in the hands of an established lifesaver like me, it's a powerful tool. I mean, I could sit around waiting to blow into people's mouths, or I could eliminate threats before they become a problem. And how exactly does that work? By being super vigilant. Oh, sure. And stabbing stuff. Wait, what? Hello? Anyone home? Oh, Gary. Oh, wow. It stinks of Gary in here. Mm. I am so turned on right now. You know, never noticed it before, but this forest is full of threats. See? She's freaking me out. I don't know. Looks like she's just exercising her fundamental human right to have a hand spear. Careful! Could be poisonous. There are no poisonous rabbits that we know of. Get away from my friends! See, Ugg, this is different. How is this different? <gasps> because now it's affecting me! Gary, I got a present for you. Oh, I'm not good at this. The present is my body. Come and get it, Gary! <gasps> Jane, just give me the hand spear. Not now, Minerva. I'm busy defending you from danger. Ugh, help me out here. Hmm, wasn't it you that said nothing was a threat when everyone had a weapon? Jane, please. The only dangerous thing in this camp is you. Bear. I'm sorry, did, did she say bear? Ah! Bear! Uh, yeah, Beth? Oh, shit. Bear, bear, it's a bear. Oh, this is getting out of hand. I should explain. I'm just role-playing as the bear. Wow. Really wish I would have said that out loud before putting this on. Hey, Beth! Hold up a sec! It's okay, Beth. You're safe now. Uh. Gary? Ooh. That seems bad. Gary, are you okay? Is there any chance this is turning you on? Yeah! <sighs> Luckily, the bear pelt absorbed most of the stabbing. Yeah, exactly. That's why I, you know, chose to wear that in the first place. You were right, Ugg. 
More weapons was a bad idea. Really? Well, what about fundamental human rights? It was never about that, you idiot. It was just because you told me I couldn't do something. <sighs> Let's make a deal. If you don't get everyone killed... You won't be a raging dipshit? Deal. Great deal. We both give up something. So, why did you wear the bear suit? I was trying to keep you happy so we'd stay together. Oh, that explains the flowers and fires. Well, yeah, I mean, what is happy, by the way? It's so vague. <laughs> I am happy, Gary, but you know what would make me even happier? Firm boundaries. With rules. So we're together? Officially? Yeah, we're together. Officially. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, guys. I had a few quick questions about your relationship thing, if you have a minute. Uh, sure. So you guys are together, but what if one of you wants out? Uh... <laughs> I guess you just tell the other person you want out. Right, but then what? Is there a buffer period before you hook up with someone else? I don't know. I mean, I, I guess you should probably wait, you know, out of courtesy. Why? And how long? Uh, I'm not actually sure. I got a question in the back. Um, Are you allowed to hook up with their friends if you break up? Ooh, no, maybe not. Whoa! <laughs> so, if you're in a relationship, you immediately eliminate romantic possibilities with all that person's friends. Yeah, I guess so. Let me get this straight. You two are together, lest one of you breaks any of these rules, in which case you aren't together, but you're worse off than when you started. Yeah, that sounds about right. Well, then what's the point of a relationship in the first place? I... I don't know. Well, personally, I like the idea of commitment. Beats just hooking up with people all willy-nilly. Yes! Proud of you, buddy! Willy-nilly! Okay, I gotta say, you were right. This place is perfect. That brook is actually babbling. Ah, oh, the humans will never find us here. The time for Elk to worry about security is over! Just said that. You know what, you dicks? You might not appreciate the way that I express myself, but the fact is that I have guided us to safety, and I will not... <gasps> so, that is the safe way to dispose of your hand spear. Now, everyone, your turn. Here's to responsible weapon ownership. Yes! Yeah! Ah! Woo! Woo! Oh, no. What the... Ah!